All right, so I should probably utilize this channel a little bit more for doing updates on the car. So today's video is simply just that, talking you through some of the changes and things I've done to this car, as well as maybe just changing out these center caps that are on my new wheels, which is the first time revealing them on the car to you today. Uh, I've got to change the center caps out. The red isn't suiting, so I have to jack the car up, so I'll do all that in today's video. But I figured I'd just try this out, see what it's like to film more of my car like this, because this is something that I would love to be doing more often. So as I said, treating this video as a bit of an update video, here's what the new wheels look like on the car, and it doesn't look like too much with a wide angle lens inside, especially in such low light. However, they look really, really cool and I'm happy with the outcome. If you want to see more photos, check out my Instagram, which will be linked in the video description as I'll be posting up photos there shortly. I apologize here, the camera quality is going to get really bad as the light progressively gets lower. But uh, very, very happy with the overall look of how these wheels look. It looks very nice with the lowering springs and the car is sitting very, very nice. So let's have a look at that height. We can see that is the perfect height, it's still practical. I don't have any issues scraping uh, in anywhere that I have to go. And I'm very, very happy with the overall outcome. The only thing that I need to change are these red center caps. They were originally going, or they were always gonna be red. Uh, I originally planned to change these out to black, but when the time came, I didn't even think about it. I just picked the wheels up and took them home with the red ones. So I've got to take the red ones off and send them back. And we're gonna swap them out for some black ones purely because they contrast really poorly with the blue brakes. And I don't wanna respray my brakes because they're in perfect condition and there would be no reason behind repainting them. So what I'm gonna do is come over here with my Super Cheap Auto stuff that Super Cheap Auto have been super kind enough to send me, which I'll link all in the video description. I've got my air compressor hose. I'm gonna also grab a uh, impact driver, air impact drill, and jack the car up. And what I'm just gonna do is take each wheel off, take those center caps out, put them back on, torque the wheels up, and that will basically be it for today's video. I just thought I'd film some more of the R36 for you guys who are interested and curious about this car. And one thing I really love about all this super cheap auto stuff is I simply just get this little air impact that I can hold in my hand like this, plug it into the air compressor. These wheel nuts are fully torqued down. And then bang, straight away, look, there comes the wheel nut easily out. Sorry if I wasn't filming, I was just making sure I was doing the right thing there, but I can take wheel nuts off so easily with this system. It's so awesome. So there you go there. You can see the wheels now without the center cap. And I actually must say it does look a bit better. One other thing I've also done, I've brought the scales out. So what I'll do now is I'll pop the factory R36 wheel on it and then I'll pop on the uh, aftermarket wheel. I'll see if I've made any weight savings at all. These aren't specifically light wheels, uh, being that they're also 19s as opposed to 18s, but I'm curious to see if I saved any weight. So here we go now with the factory wheels. We have 23.3 kilos. So this is a factory R36 uh, wheel with a Continental Conti Sport 5P. 23.3 kilograms. That is a fairly heavy rim. And here we have our aftermarket rim at 21.85 kilos. So not substantially lighter, but it is definitely a difference of about a kilo point, a kilo and a half ish. So over all four corners, I'm saving about six kilos uh, with the aftermarket 19 inch rims. So there we have it. The wheel center caps are off and I'm just running no center caps just for the time being whilst I uh, wait for my new ones to come in. But nonetheless, that's basically just been a day, just doing some little stuff on the car, just removing the center caps there. A little update on the R36 with its now black wheels. I sliced two of my fingers open when removing the center caps, and that was definitely not fun. But if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure you chuck a like on it. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already, and chuck a like on the video for the R36. And if you wanna see more of it, with that being said though, I'll see you guys in the next video, and I hope you enjoyed this one.